What's up, what's up, what's up? Happy Friday night to everybody watching in Facebook land. Anyway, or actually YouTube land, because I'll post this on YouTube later. Anyway, hi Cameron, hi Jamie, hi Paul. Uh, this is TJ's Take, I'm TJ. Episode 42, the White Claw edition. We're going to talk about White Claw today, people. I know some people like it, some people don't like it. It's either like a... It's either like a yay or a nay for people, you know? But uh, I would have to say I like it. So uh, White Claw, I'm a fan of White Claw. This is actually raspberry. It's not too bad. Adam McVeigh, Jason Voss, what's up, guys? Uh, if, you, if, you, if you've ever tried uh, Jamie, what's up? If you've ever tried uh, White Claw and you like uh, flavored water, it basically... Uh, Amber, there you go, bud. There's a different kind. Uh, yeah, but uh, if you've ever tried flavored water, I mean like sparkling water, basically tastes the same, I mean with a little kick. But yeah, White Claw. I mean, people either love it or they hate it, but there's no laws against the claw, right? The claw. Makes me want to turn on uh, the movie Liar Liar. The claw. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I like, what up Tiffany, how you doing? I actually, like, I actually like, excuse me, I actually like White Claw, I like Truly, you know, I like all them uh, spritzer, spritzer uh, drinks, but you know, it's, it's, uh, it's an acquired taste, I think, you know, but like I said, they just came out with new flavors, awesome, hey, the mango. I tried to find the mango in the store, Jamie. I did, and I was thinking of you. I was gonna buy a real big one, and I was gonna just send you a video and just chug it. But uh, I was thinking of you. I was thinking of you. Anyways, mango's pretty good. That's probably my favorite. My favorite one. Um, what up, Brenda? How you doing? Um, anyway, yeah, mango's my favorite one. It kind of tastes kind of fruity. I don't know. I get. I I was in Iowa this summer, and I got a lot of flack for drinking White Claw. You know, everybody's like, "Oh, that's such a girl drink." Come on, people. I mean, that's kind of sexist. But you know, I'm not gonna lie. I, I've gotten crap for drinking tequila, tequila Sunrise, because I, I don't drink shots. Uh, I'll mix shots if I drink a shot. Um, so if I'm gonna drink a shot I'm gonna mix it with something and I like tequila but I gotta mix it with like grenadine and, and orange juice that's either like a tequila sunrise or like a sex on the beach or whatever that's called but yeah everybody used to say oh you're such a woman for drinking tequila mixed with stuff it's like it's still tequila people they're putting like two shots in every glass so I mean come on Excuse me again. I mean the the uh, the uh, you 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 get the burps after you drink a bunch of white claw. I do know that. But anyway, what up, what up, Brandon? How you doing, man? Uh, Amanda, how you doing? Uh, this is the white claw edition, Brandon. So if you like white claw, if you don't like white claw, go ahead and respond. If you want to join the uh, TJ Steak up in the little corner here, up in the corner of my phone. Just hit the uh, video button at the bottom. It, it's like a share button, and I will accept, and you can talk as much trash about White Claw as you want. I don't really care. Either do it or don't. You know, it's like I don't really care what people think. If it tastes good to me, it tastes good to me. I'm not a big beer fan. <laughs> Very true, Jamie. I mean, that's probably true, but I think that's true with a lot of things, you know? Um, I can't explain the taste of White Claw, except except it tastes like a spiked flavored water. You know, it's like if you like them, them uh, waters that that 
just have carbonation in them. I mean, that's what it is. How is it so far? You know, it's not that I've never tried them, Brandon. I'm just doing the video because I got a lot of flack this summer. So, uh, hey, Jamie, thank you for uh, thank you for uh, joining TJ Steak for the first time. I got 42 episodes. This is actually number 42. But, uh, yeah, I, I should start doing what my friend Jamie, uh, Jamie does and uh, say, you know, if you're watching me, if you're watching me for the first time, drop a one. If you're watching the replay, drop a two. And if you've never watched me before, drop a three. What up, Maddie? How you doing? But anyway, now, I don't even like sparkling water. That's the funny thing. Maybe I would now, but I doubt it. There's no alcohol. Yeah, you just like it because there's alcohol. I mean, come on. Let's, let's be. <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. Thank you. Thank you for dropping it, too. Uh, you know, I've, I've even done these before to where I told people I was going to give something away, like a like a TJ Steak shirt. Oh, Maddie, you've never watched me before. What the heck, man? Uh, Katie, what's up? Uh, yeah, it's like I've even tried to give stuff away before. Um, White Claw. Yeah, it, it's cool, Maddie. I mean, like I said, like I said before, I'm kind of getting off track. What up, Amber? How you doing? <coughs> he did that wrong. Yeah, see, I don't want to do it like Jamie. I'm not a follower. I'm I'm a leader. I'm a leader, people. I'm not a follower. So, Jamie, I'm not taking your skills, man. I'm not taking them. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, as, as I was saying, you know, it's uh, it's uh, it's an acquired taste. But uh, if you don't like them, you don't like them. I don't really care. I do. You know, I don't like I don't like the taste of beer, but tons of people like it. <laughs> Give away some white claw. Hey, man. It, uh, yeah. You win a video, I'll send you a white claw. <laughs> or you, you win a drawing for watching my video, and I'll send you a white claw. Um, <laughs> yeah. Hey, you guys are funny. You guys are you guys are totally hilarious. And it makes you feel healthy when you're drinking it. You know, you guys are hilarious. It's like, yes, I did know what number. I said, if you've never watched me before, drop a one. If you watch me before, drop a two. And if you've never, or if you've, yeah, yeah, I totally screwed that up twice. <laughs> anyway, I don't care. Anyway, if you've, if you've watched me before, drop a two. If you've never watched me before, drop a one. How's that? And the replay, you guys ain't going to watch the replay. If you're watching the replay, drop a three. So, anyways, uh... Yeah, so I don't know. You know, I've, I've been made fun of my whole life. You know, I've never been a huge drinker. Never. <laughs> You're right, Jamie. I'm, I'm uh, CRS. Can't remember shit. So, uh, you know, it's it's. Uh, I've been made fun. And sorry for the language, but anyway, yeah, CRS. Can't remember crap. Uh, but. Uh, Oh, that's the same as you, Jamie? Okay, I'll totally change it. I'll, to I'll totally change it. Totally change it. That If you've watched me before, drop a three. If you've never watched me before, drop a two. And if you're watching the replay, drop a one. <laughs> but, uh, hi, Aunt Chris. How you doing? What up, Steve? Uh, but, yeah, anyway, I've never been a big fan of alcohol. I, I just never have. You know, that's just not my, it's not, not, uh, not my thing. And, you know, it's funny because, like, I'll, I'll take a drink. And I'm, I'm just going to display it for you. What up, Jake? How you doing, man? I'll, I'll just display it for you. And I'll, I'll pretend this tastes bad. Like that. You know, I, I always go like that when I take a drink of beer. Always. For, like, the first beer or two. I mean, it's probably not that harsh. But my friends call it the bitter beer face. And, uh... Yeah, yeah, I, I, you know, Jake, Jake, Jacob, what's up, man? I've I've probably been inebriated with a lot of people on here, but uh, yeah, I just get that face. People call it the bitter beer face. I don't really like beer, you know. I have to mix stuff or like these little seltzer drinks or like uh, Smirnoff or something like that. But you know, it, it, like I said, it's an acquired taste, and uh, you either like it or you don't. And I I like it. So what up, Erica? How you doing? 
um, but yeah, it's, 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 it's not bad. I mean, the grapefruit, let me, let me go through the, the kinds that I know right now. It's, uh, we got the raspberry, we got the black cherry, we got the something grapefruit, we got the lime, which tastes like one of those little, what up, Brianna? One of those little, uh, freezy pops that you buy your kids at the store. They come in like a package, like a, a net package. And they taste just like the green ones, the lime ones do. Uh, we have raspberry, and that's what I bought today. I bought a 12-pack of the mixed flavors. But in Iowa, I tried the uh, I tried the mango, and that, that one's really kick butt. I like that one. I, I like the taste of mango. I like the taste of fruity stuff. Yeah, call me a lady. I don't care. But, uh, yeah, it's like, come on. I'm not, I'm not telling... You, you think you like the black cherry? It sucks that you can't drink one, though, huh? <laughs> no, JB, I'm just giving you crap. What up, Kristen? How you doing? But, uh, yeah, I think everyone's going to have their favorite. I mean, I talked to some people in Iowa, and they're like, oh, I like grapefruit. It's like, oh, do you? Because grapefruit is garbage to me. So, I mean, I, I don't know. You, 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 you ladies should try the, uh, the raspberry. I, I think that one's pretty rad rad i kind of sound like alex vance on that one didn't i but um five months yeah you'll be able to drink one just wait february rolls around you'll just be buying them by the 12 pack won't you jamie you just be like oh i'm i'm getting those you know by then they'll have probably have blueberry in white claw you know i, I seen a post today that somebody said that they're selling out in iowa <laughs> you know they're selling out in in uh I think they said the state of Iowa selling out out of them. The watermelon, yeah, I'll bet that one's pretty good. I'll bet that one's pretty good. But, uh, you know, I walked into the local liquor store right down the street, probably like two blocks away. They had boxes of them. I walked in, I was like, hey, you, you know where the White Claw stuff is? And he goes, what? And I said, White Claw, and he points over to this corner. Whole stack of them. I mean, probably cases upon cases of the stuff. So, I mean, Oklahoma must have a bunch. But Oklahoma people must not like White Claw very much. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I'll bet there was 200 cases sitting there in this corner of this liquor store. So, <laughs> got some in the fridge waiting. <laughs> awesome. Jamie, when you have your uh, son, I'm going to send you. I know Alex isn't a big football fan. You're probably not a big football fan. You love the Hawkeyes. So do I, apparently. But, uh you know, so do I. But uh, I'm going to send you an Oklahoma Sooners binky. So, uh, and when people say, why did he send, why did he, why has that kid got an Oklahoma Sooners binky in his mouth? Well, just be like, because they're crappy, so something can go in his mouth. But, uh, yeah, so I don't know. I bought the variety pack today. I like the uh, truly, uh, Blueberry, I think that's pretty bomb. I wish they would make a blueberry and white claw. I seen that Smirnoff right beside these uh send me some white claw too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you'll have enough white claw when you have that kid, I guarantee it. Make Alex go out and buy you like freaking four twelve packs. But uh Yeah, it's 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 <laughs> I like blueberry. I like I like good stuff that tastes good. You know, so uh, I seen Smirnoff makes these hard seltzer things now, and they're like putting like, uh, oh, what's the, what's the drink that everybody gets from freaking uh, Sonic? Something. Uh, it's like a mix of something. I don't know some some drink, but yeah, Smirnoff's got one that uh, yeah, like they mix like three things in there. I do like the truly raspberry lime. Okay, the raspberry lime reminds me of them Smirnoff things. They add like three flavors in one, like watermelon, berry, yeah, cherry limeade. Yeah, there you go, Amber. Thanks for the save. <laughs> cherry limeade is what I was trying to think of. They have one of those for the Smirnoff, and they're these hard seltzer, hard seltzer alcohol drinks or whatever. So, yeah, but, you know, I envy those people that uh, – that make fun of me because I mean people have made fun of me my whole life about a lot of things so it's like oh give me a hard time because of what I drink you're not drinking it are you I mean people gave me a hard time about tattoos uh 
you know, it's like, they're not going on your body, are they? <laughs> so you can make fun of me all you want. Oh yeah, there's that dummy that's got the handicapped parking sign on his back. <laughs> it's like, well, you probably got something dumb on your body too. So whatever. So if you're going to judge me for what I drink, oh well, it's 5% alcohol and it tastes good. So that's all I got to say about that. But uh, yeah, you know, it's like I, I posted, I was doing this uh, TJ Sake online and they're like, oh, freaking White Claws, not very good. It's like, uh, either it's Jack Daniels, but y'all chug that, don't you? So, what up, Sarah? How you doing? Tell Jason I said hello. Hope you guys are doing well. This is the White Claw edition, TJ Steak number 42. Uh, but yeah, it's... It's an acquired taste. I think anything you drink, if you go to a bar, excuse me again, or you go anywhere, it's just an acquired taste. I mean, either you're gonna like it or you're not gonna like it. And if you don't like it, don't drink it. Don't make fun of don't make fun of people if the if you go if you're with with a buddy at a bar and he's like, hey, give me a white claw. <laughs> you know, it's like what up, Adam? Yeah, it's like. They're going to hate anyway, man, and and I've never cared on haters. I've never cared. I think it's more funny than anything. It's like if I was a WWE wrestler, I'd be a bad guy because I want the uh, negative attention, you know? So it's like, okay, make fun of me for drinking a White Claw. Ooh, don't care. I'm still going to drink it. So thank you, Sarah. Thank you. I haven't even tried it. How many carbs does it have? Let's see here. Let, let me tell you the deets. Let me tell you the deets, Sarah. Okay, it's 5% alcohol volume, 12, 12 ounce can, and it is, let's see here. What did you say? Carbs? Total fat, 0 grams. Sodium, 20 milligrams. Carbohydrates, 2 grams. Total sugar, 2 grams. Uh, protein, zero grams. Uh, yeah, I don't see the carbs. Calories, 100 calories. Uh, it does not say the carbs. That or I'm not seeing it. So, um, yeah, but anyway, 100 calories. I mean, you can't beat that. I mean, come on. I drink 10 of these. I'm drinking 1,000 calories. And I have drank 10 of them, so whatever. But yeah, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Like I said, I... I I like the raspberry. It's pretty good. I like the black cherry. It's pretty good. The lime's pretty good. How does it taste? Yeah, it's 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 like a hint of like flavored water after you drink it, and then it's like got the raspberry taste to it. That's what that one tastes like, anyway. But I mean, Sarah, if you like like if you like like carbonated drinks. Super fizzy? Nah. No, I don't think so. I mean, looks just like flavored water. If you pour it out into a glass, looks just like flavored water, but, you know, sm smells like flavored water, but it's 5% alcohol. So, probably as fizzy as flavored water, or carbonated water, whatever you want to call that. Um, but yeah, it's like, oh, come on. It's not bad. <laughs> uh, you should try one, Sarah, and if you totally hate it, it's my fault. My fault. Excuse me. Blame it on TJ if you hate it. That's all I got to say. I mean, come on. So, uh, anyone want to uh, give their opinion on White Claw besides new 70 calories? Ooh, they're stepping up their game, man. Come on. But, yeah, it's... Uh, Anyone want to anyone want to tell me what 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 they like about White Claw? Like, give me give me something that you guys love about White Claw, and then give me something that people hate about White Claw. You know, I'm just sitting here rambling. You know, and I probably probably just like, Ugh. but uh, yeah, just tell me. Ain't no laws, <laughs> Brianna. I don't think in your life you have no laws anyway. <laughs> I'm just saying, just saying, but. Uh, yeah, Loki. So, yeah, anyway, Loki. I was going to show you guys my dog. I got him a haircut and he kind of looks like a lady. Kind of. Watch this. Loki. 
Loki, Loki. What are you doing, buddy? Huh? What are you doing there? Look like a little girl. <laughs> oh, he got a haircut, Sarah. And, uh, yeah, Loki. I mean, just let him see your girliness, bud. Yeah, yeah, little girl, little girl. <laughs> you know, the funny part of that, Dad, is he looked really shaggy, and then I take him to the groomers, and now he looks like a looks like a little female. <laughs> yeah, I'm judging my dog. He's a female. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, Brianna, come on. Calm down. Hi, Danielle. How you doing? He is a large version of Toby. Uh, yeah, he is. And he's probably as fast. I, no, 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 no. Toby... Toby's the man. He that that dog is super fast. But yeah, he he does look like a large version of Toby. So, what up, Mike Hall? How you doing, man? What up, Danielle? Uh, but yeah, any 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 stories about White Claw? I mean, Amber Janelle's probably got a story about White Claw and me. But uh, any other stories about White Claw? Any 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 negative comments about White Claw? Any positive comments about White Claw? Does a white claw make you think of a certain person or anything like that? You wanna you wanna you wanna blast it out there? Like I said, I like being the bad guy. So, like that uh, Billy Eilish song, "I'm the Bad Guy." Yeah, Lindsay White, what's up? Yeah, Amber, you don't want to tell the stories, do you? You don't want to tell the stories, huh? Okay, all right. I mean, it's not like I drank very many that night, so. So, uh, I mean, come on, it's only a couple, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. Don, what's up? Don, Miss Don, I miss you living right across the street from me, babe. <laughs> oh, but yeah, the White Claw, it's not too bad. I mean, do you guys think I should try something else that tastes similar to White Claw? Because I'll, I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. I'll, you know, you, you guys talk me into a lot of things on TJ Steak. Whatever you whatever you say, I'll probably do. You know, I'm not going to do something really stupid or vulgar, but uh, I'll do something just like eating that chocolate, that uh, Fugo box chocolate, that freaking TJ Steak I did where I ate that hottest chocolate in the world. Yeah. If it wasn't for you guys, I would never eat something like that because I get heartburn drinking a Mountain Dew. So, you know... No, that was that was pure torture. And like I told someone, you know, it's like I acted like it it sucked doing that. It wasn't bad. The next like an hour afterwards was the worst. It's like it didn't want to come out. I just sat there and got the sweats. Biggest stomach pain of my entire life. So yeah. I mean I'll do a lot of things for my fans. No. I don't have no fans. What am I talking about? Stephanie, I don't know what you just sent me, but I'll check that out here in a minute, okay? Thank you for that. If it's bad, sorry, but uh, I'll check it out. But anyway, thanks for watching. What up, Nate? Hey, bud. How you doing, man? But yeah, Nate, White Claw, bud. The White Claw, bud. You gotta like it. But uh, yeah, so... I mean, see, people don't like it. I had like 10 visitors. Now I now I got freaking like four or five. Adam McVeigh's on here. I know he loves the White Claw. Adam, what's your favorite? What's your favorite uh, White Claw, bud? Amber Krill, what's your favorite White Claw, bud? Nate? Nate, you, you work around the bar. Tell me your favorite flavor of White Claw. And if you don't like it, what's... Okay, now let me ask you, ask you ladies and guys a better question. What's the... Now, see, I want to say girly because that's what people call me when I drink stuff like that. But I don't want to be sexist because, I mean, I know some drinkers that are girls. But anyway, what's the most... What's, the, what's a drink that if I don't drink White Claw that you would judge me for? Like, if I'd walk up to a bar and order a drink... Tell me what you judge me for. Smearing off ice? Uh, 
any of them that have alcohol. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of the way I look at it, Adam. If it goes down and it, it's got an alcohol content, that's where I'm at with it all. But uh, yeah, it's like uh, smearing off ice or like uh, um, Mike's Hard Lemonade or uh, Twisted Tea. I hates White Claw. <laughs> yeah, hates, because that hates is is the way you would say that uh zima uh, you judge me if i went up and grabbed a zima what if i put a starburst in it after i drank it hello brandy how you doing uh or like uh a, a corona you know pour some salt in a corona <laughs> yeah. i mean I, I just don't know you know it's like because i want to hear what y'all would judge me for that way next time i'm in iowa or around any of you i'm gonna order that exact same thing that you said and i'm gonna drink it and i'm gonna and i'm gonna love it <laughs> so you know if you i prefer bud dry now amber tell the story about bud dry if you can text all that let's hear it let's hear it I'll stick with Michelob Ultra. Stephanie, hey, there ain't nothing wrong with Michelob Ultra. I like Michelob Ultra. I just said earlier on this TJ Steak, I don't like beer. But uh, I do like Michelob Ultra. My Uncle Kerr was a big fan of Michelob Ultra. Michelob Golden Light. Or, uh, yeah, I think that's made by Michelob. Golden Golden Light, Michelob Ultra. Yeah, I think it's the same thing. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're not bad. They don't leave a, like, I don't like beer because it leaves a weird aftertaste. Most of it does. And, uh, Michelob doesn't really leave an aftertaste. It doesn't really leave a, I don't know what you want to call it, like a rank aftertaste, but, uh, do it, bud. Love you. <laughs> hey, thanks, Nate. Thanks, man. I like the positive words, bud. Uh, I like the negative words too, though. So it's all good. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, Nate said, Zima, what else would you judge me for? Would you, if I walked up to the bar bar and said, I want some jello shots, would y'all be like, ooh, he's such a little girl. It's like, come on, who doesn't like jello shots? Who doesn't like jello shots? I think everyone likes jello shots. So, um, yeah. But I, I, I seriously urge you, if you've never had White Claw, give it a try. Just, just. Just go give her a try. Just just go to the store. Now out here, you know, I, I got White Claw a little cheaper in Iowa. I think it was like 14 for a 12 pack. I paid 18 bucks for a 12 pack tonight, but nah, I don't care. You do the claw, baby. Do the claw. So, you know, uh, just give her a try for me. And if you hate it, what up, Christy? Hey, Christy. Cheers to you. I if I had a drink, if I had to drink, mine would be vodka. So, Stephanie, let me ask you an honest question. Would you judge me if I went up and got a Smirnoff, a Smirnoff uh, ice? Like a purple Smirnoff ice, like a grape Smirnoff ice. Would you be like, ooh, he's got a girl drink. <laughs> and, and yes, I, I keep saying girl drink, so I'm not trying to judge girls by any means. It's just that's what my buddies say or people that want to judge me for it <laughs> okay i'm gonna read some of these bill cosby likes jello shots does he <laughs> i mean i mean yeah he does but who doesn't like jello shots if they got alcohol in them uh stephanie you would judge me how dare you how dare you <laughs> moving what's up dude or six yeah. Hold on. I, I got to read this. I'm trying to do this. I'm getting all flustered. Better give you a throwback for this. The claw better give you a throwback for this. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Not going to happen. What up, Boobin? How you doing, bud? You like the claw? You like the claw, bud? You like to make fun of the claw? It's, it's, either, it's, either, it's either you're on the Titanic with the claw or you're sinking because you judge the claw. I always judge a man by his drinks. You do? <laughs> That's great. Then I guess I'm a sissy, you know? No, I'm not. I mean, I, I like, uh, I said drink them one time. I haven't tried it yet. Once a... Okay, everybody, everybody just hush it for a second. I'll get back to Stephanie, what you said just a minute ago, 
and I'll get back to everybody else that says something. But read this. Amber Krill just wrote, wrote a comment. I'm going to read it to you just because this is kind of a story. Once upon a time, I came to Cedar Rapids to visit my friend, and you hit on some interesting females while drinking a Bud Dry. I did. Uh, at the pool. Later, peeled over on the floor, or keeled over on the floor, I think she meant to say. At Before that I keeled over on the floor, I wiped out. I freaking just bit the dust because I tripped over something. Bit the dust, tore up my arm. Then uh, later, I keeled over on the floor in, in an apartment from Heartburn due to drinking too much Bud Dry. I seriously thought I was going to freaking die, people. I mean, I thought I was going to freaking keel over dead. I thought I was having a heart attack. Um, my friend Amber there, she sat with me all night, but but her boyfriend at the time, we're not going to mention any names, but her boyfriend, supposed to be one of my real good friends, just took off. He's like, oh, I'm going to go over to this, uh, I'm going to go over to this uh, party over here and just blow off my buddy because he's sick. So see ya. He's a little girl. She stayed to perform CPR. Yeah, no, I never, I never got none of that action. So, anyway, I'm gonna get back to Stephanie Terry's comment. Stephanie, you said you judge people by their drinks. Okay, so, so, if I was interested in you, or if anyone I know was interested in you, and they said they like smearing off ice, you wouldn't date them. I mean, is that what that means? Because I did say on this video earlier, on this TJ Steak earlier, that I like tequila, but I have to mix tequila. And every time I mix tequila, everybody's like, ooh, that's such a girly drink, or you're such a sissy. It's like I'm putting three shots of tequila in a tequila sunrise. Oh, okay, you don't, you, you, you didn't say date, but you just judge them. What do you mean by judge them? Uh, I like Tequila Sunrise and, is, and uh, a drink called Sex on the Beach. But, uh, yeah, I still get crap. I mean, people are like, ooh, that's such a sissy thing to do. It's like, okay, whatever liquor it is, I'm mixing it with something. I don't care if it's orange juice, uh, grenadine, you know, uh, anything. I don't care. And uh, you like Tequila Straight? Good for you. You, you are a B.A. chick. You know, I'm trying not to cuss on these videos, but uh, you're a straight up, straight up bad woman. I mean, I, I think I always knew that, but uh, you get props from me. So, but yeah, yeah, it's like, come on, people. If, if, if you got a friend and he's suffering from a heart attack, which he thinks he was, uh, you would just bolt and freaking take off and party with your buddies. Be like, oh, I'm just going to let my friend die over here on the floor. And uh, I'll just freaking see you later, bud. Yeah, I miss you too. I miss you too. We still give him crap. Well, we don't. Well, my daughter scares the crap out of him all the time. But I still give them all crap because, uh, you know, they're all just, they all walk around like drones sometimes and don't want to have conversation. You you at least had conversation. We scared the crap out of you a couple times, so we miss you too. So, but yeah, it's uh, uh yeah. Anyway, back to White Claw. Back to White Claw. The 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 rules against the claw. What up, Chip? How you doing, bud? What up, Marisha? How you doing? one time yeah yes back to the claw <laughs> yeah back to the claw because stephanie doesn't like the claw hey stephanie try this raspberry claw you might like it you might like it i might shock you now you might learn something off tj steak if, if you've never watched me before maybe you should start watching i talk about a lot of things and, and even if you what up jackson lewis what up dog uh even if you bring up a subject and i don't like to talk about it I'll talk about it just for you guys. So, anyway. Yeah, yeah, White Claw. Let's get back to it. 
I'll try one for you, okay? For the very first time, okay? Thank you. You rock. You rock. You, you get brownie points for trying it. See, I don't know if you'll try it. You'll say you'll try it. I think you'll probably just say you'll try it. But your secret's safe with me. It's fine. It's not like anyone else is paying attention. So. Claw and Truly are both amazing. How does alcohol taste like nothing? Hey, Caitlin. Scott Miles, buddy. I played your theme song, bud. Man, my mouth is watering for the claw. Yes, it is, Adam. That's why I keep drinking it. I don't mean to. I'll, I'll take a pick and tag you. Thank you, Steph. Adam, crack one open, bro. Crack one open. I'll go get another flavor for you. I mean, if you're here, we'd share them, bud. It takes a man to drink White Claw. I've grown up two, two inches under my belt from drinking Black Cherry. Jack, you are the freaking man, dude. I mean, I've always known you're the man, but I mean, that caps it off. It just freaking caps it. It's like, it's like if I'm gonna write a, if I'm gonna write a freaking comic book, Jack's gonna be in my comic book. And you're gonna get the lion tamer at the end of the comic book, Jack, like back when you were a kid. Uh, Justin Thompson, what up? What up, guy? Lindsay! White Claw, bud. White Claw. Leslie, go to bed. White Claw. <laughs> uh, yes. Come on, people. I like you picture. You do? Do you? Well, you, you, like, like picture. Excuse me. Man, this, this stuff gives you the burps, so. It's like, I feel like, ooh, I've had like 50 of them. Loved watching, gotta go. Hey, you too, Steph. Start watching them if you get some time. I do some interesting ones. I mean, they're not all, all not all not interesting. I, I mean, maybe they are, but I like doing them, so. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Freedom, Marie, what up? Figure four, crying kid comic book. You didn't cry, did you, Jack? How many have you had? This is my first one, Scott. To be honest with you, I've only had one. This is my first one. Just in a good mood, bud. Thanks, Steph. See ya. Um, Leslie, go to bed. So, uh, but yeah, it's uh, Scott. I've only had one. I played your theme song today, though, bud. You know, in Iowa and Indiana, when I was doing these TJ stakes. Uh, I couldn't get the theme song to play. Like, I just couldn't do it. And now, since I'm home, we need to redo it, man. We need to redo it, make it sound good. So, yeah. Miss you, buddy. I miss you like crazy. I need to come hear you sing. I don't have my kid on the weekends. You playing anywhere this weekend? Maybe I'll come watch. Uh, yeah. Who 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 wants to join me and drink a White Claw or drink a few studio quality for real? Yeah, I'll pay for studio time. I don't even care. As long as we can, like, put it on something to where I can always play it, I don't even care. Okey Tonk, where's that at? Mom said go to bed. Yeah. Tell your mom I love her. She don't want me to go to bed. You better listen to her. Oh, come on. I've always listened to your mom, and she knows better. Uh, yeah, Scott. Anyway, if you're still on here, bud. Oh, it's in more? She, crap, man. I, I about cussed. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll stop by if I don't have too many White Claws, bud. Um, what time you start playing? Yeah, but uh, Leslie, come on, man. I've always listened to your mom. She's rad. I miss you. Tell your mom I miss her. But, uh, Scott, what time you start playing, bud? 9.30. Yeah, I might make that. How long you play? She doesn't love me as much as I love her. So, yeah. How long you play, Scott? A couple hours? Midnight? 11? 11.30? Adam McVeigh, you still on here, bud? Oh, 
Oh, Bucky's there too? Yeah, I gotta stop by. What time does he start playing? Adam, what up, dog? You know, if you were here, we'd put down some White Claws, but 1 a.m. most likely. He's going to play at 1 a.m.? Oh, oh, that's how long you're playing? What time's uh, Bucky going to play? See you, Leslie. Have fun. Tell your mom hi. Give her hugs. And I was just kidding. You don't have to go to bed. Yes, sir, Adam. So, uh, yeah. Song swap, I think we're on at the same time. Is this place, like, huge or something? So it's got, like, different sides to it or something? Like, you're going to be playing one side, he's going to be playing the other? That's weird, but, I mean, uh, I might dig it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeremy Perez, what's up, dude? I hope you love the White Claw, because I do. Yeah, sorry, people. If you think I've had too many White Claws, I haven't. I've only had like a half of one. I'm just in a really good mood today, you know? I think I figured out the key to life. Happiness is the key to life, people. Now, I may do another TJ's take on that. But happiness is the key to life. It's not money, people. If you're truly happy with your life... You're rich to me. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jessica Wright's watching, huh? What up, Jess? How you doing, friend? Miss you, lady. We need to sing some karaoke sometime. Jess, I hope you love the White Claw. Come on. You'd drink a White Claw with me, wouldn't you, Jess? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Adam, you want to hear something funny? I think you're still watching this. And I don't care who's all watching this. Jamie's on here again, huh? Jamie, you logged on to my video twice. Is, is something special going on or what? <laughs> oh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But, yeah. Uh, yes, I'm still talking. I can talk all night long, Chrissy. You know that. Be quieter. I'm going to tell the couch story. <laughs> what up, Colin? How you doing, man? I know he doesn't like the White Claw, so Colin, let's hear it. Why don't you like White Claw, man? I mean, besides, I'm a sissy for drinking it or something like that. Whitney Rogers, what's up? I'm Henri? No, not me. This is me sober. S it's like Oklahoma signs say, stay sober or get pulled over. <laughs> I mean, that's original. I will be quiet, Christy. I'm just kidding. There is no couch story. I'm making it up. Yeah, see, that's how you get responses, huh, Amber? Janelle, you still on here? Amber, you get responses just by being mouthy. I mean, I should have realized that a long time ago. I'm great at that. I'm great at that. Like, like me in high school was like this shy, sweet TJ. And then me after high school and now is like this sarcastic, forward, brash TJ. And that's me. You know, so it's like I'm not afraid what people say to me. I'm not afraid what I say to people. I mean, I want to be polite. But it's like, come on. If you're going to call me a sissy for drinking White Claw, then I'll bet you, all of you, are a sissy for doing something else. I, I, I almost bet that. I really do. I'm not kidding. Besides people like Alex Vance. I mean, Jamie, Jamie, I never pronounce your last name because I always think I'm going to pronounce it long, wrong and you may not even be on here. Jamie Routabush. Rodebush, route, bush Okay, if I pronounce that wrong, I'm sorry. My last name's kind of difficult too. I bet you couldn't pronounce it. But anyway, like Jamie's boyfriend Alex Vance, he he's, I mean, in his mind, he's flawless. He don't do anything wrong. Whatever he drinks, 
it's the greatest. Whatever he, whatever he eats is the greatest. Whatever he does is the greatest. There's just certain people like that on the planet. Oh, you don't think I was shy in high school, Christy? Come on. I mean, I wasn't shy to people that really knew me. But, I mean, to everybody else, yes, I was probably shy. Now I'm, like, farthest from shy. And, hey, uh, now let me ask you. I don't know who all follows me on Facebook. I mean, obviously, you're watching me on Facebook. I knew that the real you. Yeah, well, that's me. And I don't think I've changed too much, have I? I mean, I may have got a little bit more forward, but I don't think I've changed very much. Um, but uh, uh, I forgot what I was saying. I got sidetracked. Dang it. There's that CRS again. Can't remember crap. Can't say the S word. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. You're still the same awesome guy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I think you're pretty fabulous yourself. I, you know, honestly, Christy, I won't lie to you. I think most of the people in our class are pretty fabulous. They are. You know, I, I, I think in every class, not just our class, but any class in Oskaloosa history. What up, Tina? Brenda? Anyway, in any, in any class, any class, there's this egotistical era, like aura that lifts over people. And it's like, come on, people, we're 40. So it's not like uh, we're almost 40. We're in our high 30s. It's not like we have to be... Uh, cocky or popular or anything like that really popular is just a just a uh, society filled quota almost it's like it's something that's put into your head it's like i think i'm popular i just got to convince all you that i'm that way right speak for yourself 38 and holding hey christy i thought you were like 25 so i need one of those <laughs> do you rocking I mean, they, they, they are pretty good. They are pretty, not warm. I mean, they kind of start tasting ugh, when they're warm. And that one's kind of getting warm. But anyway, yeah. What was I going to say? What was I going to say? I don't, I don't remember, you know? No, Christy, you know, let me tell, let me go off topic. I, I think I've went off topic a bunch on this video, so screw it. But, you know, it's like, how many people in high school, do you still act the same that you acted in high school? They're horrible. Thank you, Brenda. I like that. Thank you for that. that uh, thank you for that uh, negative response. I loved it. I love it. They're horrible to you. They're not horrible to me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Dan Selecta. Dan Selecta is watching the TV. Oh, whoa. Pump the brakes, people. Pump them. My friend Dan, one of my longest friends, is watching the TJ's Take. I don't know if he's ever watched the TJ's Take. I think I'm going to fall over and have a heart attack. It's like me drinking Bud Dry again. Woo, heart attack. What up, Dan? Love you, brother. Big D. Yeah. Anyway, so let me ask you guys a serious question. I, I, and I know I'm just kind of ranting, and we're getting off topic about White Claw. Yeah, this isn't your first time, Dan. Woo, baby. He feels deeply about White Claw. Dan, do you, do you not like White Claw? I mean, I get it. You probably don't. Sherry. Sherry. Oh, Bud Dry I love. You know I love Bud Dry. I love Bud Dry, but I don't like the way Bud Dry makes me feel, brother. <laughs> I mean, Bud, Bud Dry makes me want to keel over on this freaking area rug right here and die. So, uh, Sherry. Sherry Farmer, you are the greatest. Now, Sherry, I, I, I see I'm getting off topic again. Sherry, Sherry did my makeup, people. You, you, you don't like it, huh? I, I didn't figure you did. You're, you're a hardcore liquor fan, fan, you know? That's just Dan. I mean, you, you got, you got hair on everything, man. That's just you, buddy. You are the man of all men. Uh, Sherry, yeah, Sherry put my makeup on. On TJ Steak episode 40. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. Uh, Sherry would like the White Claw because Sherry's rad. I mean, Sherry's good good people, man. Sherry, you know, you didn't comment when I said that you do the greatest makeup of all time. I was giving you props even on your page. And you're like, oh, I'm just going to ignore those. <laughs> no, it's cool. I'm just giving you a hard time, Sherry. 
just giving you a hard time. You, you're the greatest. And honestly, probably should shave my mustache and my beard. I mean, I probably should now. I'm starting to look like a caveman. But, you know, I should have shaved it. And I should have uh, just took all effects of what I would have looked like as a woman. I bet I would have been a hot woman. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I mean, with hair, obviously. Now, TJ being bald, you didn't see it. Well, I give you props all the time. I mean, I share your videos. You're rad. You're awesome. And I've thought that since day one, and you know that. So, anyway, I was just giving you props. But, yeah, you're good. You should do a lot of people's makeup, not just mine. You should freaking go into business for doing people's makeup. You're good at it. You and my friend Jamie, Alex's girlfriend, Jamie. I, I, I always pronounce her last name wrong, so I feel like an a-hole. Routabush, I think, is what it is. And it'll soon be Vance one of these days. But, I mean, anyway, you and her should just do people's makeup. Like like, uh, like at uh, Halloween time, you should just be like, oh, somebody pay me 20 bucks and I'll put Captain America all over your face. Or put the Incredible Hulk all over your face. Or put Spider-Man all over your face. You know, like them little fairs you go to and, and you pay like 50 bucks or 40 bucks, 20 bucks. I don't know. I don't even know what it is because I've never paid for it. I paid for my kid. I think it was like 30 bucks. But you pay for it and they'll freaking write this design all over your face. You guys could do that. You ladies could do that. I mean, cl unique girls could do that. This is especially you two. Jamie and you, Sherry. You guys are bomb. Instead of just showing people how to put on makeup, put people's makeup on for them. Get paid for that. There you go. I'm an entrepreneur, and I just gave you guys ideas. I mean, what what can I do? That's what this is. People need to realize, what can't TJ do? I, I may be the greatest thing of all time. <laughs> Look at me. I don't even need to toot my own horn. Beep, beep. <laughs> yeah, you'd think I had like 12 White Claws. I'm only at half of one, people. <laughs> so anyway, back to White Claw. Sherry, you like White Claw? What kind you like? What kind of White Claw you like? My baby and his shots. Hey, give that baby a kiss for me. Give Ella a kiss. Give your, give, uh, I think his name's Mason, right? I don't want to be wrong. Give him a high five for TJ, and I'll see you later. Thank you for watching TJ Steak, Sherry. Uh, let's see here. Let me see who I got on here. We got Danielle Corbett, Adam McVeigh, Brenda, Dan, and Tina. Okay, so all you guys, Danielle Corbett, do you like White Claw? And if you do, you can't drink it right now. But if you did, what flavor would you like? Dan Selecta, if you liked White Claw, if I made you drink a White Claw, if I came to your house in Knoxville... And I said, Dan, you have to drink a White Claw. What flavor would it be? Oh, sorry, Amber. I didn't see you there. <laughs> Heather, Neil, what's up? Amber, same question to you. If I made you drink a White Claw and said, pick whatever flavor you want, what flavor would it be? I wouldn't know. I can't drink it right now and didn't hear of it until after I got pregnant. Okay. What? Chad Armbruster, what's up, dude? I don't even know what flavors there are. Okay. I will tell you. So tonight, Dan, I bought... You like them, Heather, huh? What kind do you like? Like, this one's raspberry, Dan. They have a raspberry. They have a mango they have a lime which tastes like the little freezy pops that you buy your kids or in the nets in the grocery store budweiser flavor <laughs> rocking black cherry or melon flavor awesome i like that day the budweiser flavor they have lime they have uh i don't know amber help me out here they have supposedly watermelon they have mango they have black cherry they have lime they have raspberry and they have oh grapefruit some kind of grapefruit but i guess they have other flavors and they're like more tropical flavors i haven't tried those of the, of the 12 pack that i bought 
probably raspberry or black cherry would be my favorite. I really like mango. Dan, I know you don't like this kind of stuff. Try the mango for me one time and Snapchat me when you do it or take a picture. Yeah, Heather, grapefruit. That's the worst one out of the 12 pack. Uh, take, a, take a picture for me. Have Brenda take a picture of you choking it down and tell me, do you really hate it? That's what I want to know. How, how have you and Brenda been doing, Dan? You've been doing great. I hope you guys have been doing great. I'm sorry I didn't get to see you this summer. I'd like to hook up with you. I just read they're going to be a shortage of White Claw because it's so popular. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier on the TJ Sake, like probably the first five minutes. I don't know. I've probably been on here a half hour. But uh, we were talking about that earlier. I went to the liquor store tonight, and they had probably 200 cases of that stuff, 212 packs probably just sitting in the corner of this freaking liquor store. Yeah, we've been working on a lot of overtime this summer. Yeah, Dan, I'd like to see you, buddy. I mean, next time I come to Iowa, definitely need to hook up. Definitely need Brenda to cook for me because I hear she's a bomb for a cook. Definitely need to come down, hang out a few times. Uh, you know, I was even in Knoxville at Knoxville Nationals this year. Could have called you up. I, I just spaced it off. Forgot you lived in Knoxville, man. You're out of sight, out of mind type of thing, man. I'm sorry. Love you, though, brother. Always and forever, my friend. But, uh, yeah, whenever I come back again, I'll let you know, buddy. Uh, yeah. But, uh, you know, I think they need to make uh, Blueberry White Claw. I think that would be kick butt. You know, I drank a Blueberry Truly. Uh, Truly is this company that makes seltzer alcohol like these guys do and uh it's pretty good the uh the blueberry is like really good so yeah okay let me check out and see who's all on here because i'll probably be wrapping this up i'll probably talk to you guys legs off adam mcveigh is still on here what a man isn't adam the man dan i mean dan you remember that voicemail buddy you remember that voicemail a long time ago at the old apartment by Webster, but or the old house by Webster? This is TJ, Brett, and Dan. Freaking, I can't even do it. It's like an Irish voice, but uh, that was cool. I remember. You know, like I said, I've said this a couple of times. You guys probably think I'm I'm freaking hammered already. I've only had like 75 percent of this thing. I'm just in a great mood. Great mood. I'm a trooper. Yeah, you're the man, dude. Do you like this one? Does this one get your stamp of approval, Mr. Adam? Or does it get the thumbs down? Oh, <laughs> uh, shoot. Yeah. I can, I can, I can, I can hear, hear Adam talking like that right now. I cannot, I cannot do it myself. I don't know what SI means. What's SI mean? Adam, what's SI mean, man? But, uh, yeah. TJ Brett and Dan. And it was like some Irish voice. For, for you all who don't know what we're talking about, kind of just story time. Yes. Thank you, Adam. Thank you. <laughs> like back in, uh, 1999, probably it was. <laughs> me, me, my friend Dan, and Brett Herney. Lived in this house over by Webster School in Oskaloosa. And we wanted to leave a voicemail on the answer machine that would, like, make people laugh. So uh, we had somebody, I think it might have, uh, I think it might have been Adam that freaking did the voice. I don't remember. But uh, they they called and they left a voicemail or a answer machine message saying, this is TJ Brett and Dan. Leave a message after the beep. And it was like an Irish voice. Yeah, so I, it was just totally funny, totally funny. That that house has got a lot of good stories, my friends. So yeah, this kind of turned from white claw to story time, didn't it? That's all good though. I don't care. But uh, Amber, you never told me which one's your favorite. I, I I know you said black cherry or raspberry. 
but I mean, you drank like seven of mine one night. Which one was your favorite? Besides, besides all of them, which one was your favorite? <laughs> Jason Voss, what's up, guy? How you doing, man? Uh, yes, yes, and yes. So, you guys got any ideas for my next DJ steak? Since you guys are troopers. Oh, you said black cherry. I'm sorry, Amber. What a dick I am. I mean, if you could reach to the phone, you could just smack me if you wanted to. Brenda says, you gotta... Oh, I gotta do this when I drink it. Brenda, you say that, huh? All right. So, this is like that. Does that make me cool? Does it? <laughs> uh, does that make me too legit to quit? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, Google. What's the weather? Right now in Norman, it's 89 and clear. 89? It's predicted to be 83 and clear. Good Lord, that's hot. Yeah, yeah. No comment to that, Amber. No comment. No comment. Amber, was Jamie even on here when I was trying to pronounce her last name? The weird thing is I always mess up her last name. It's either Rodebush or Routabush. I think it's Routabush. Uh, you're still sweating. Are you sitting outside watching this thing, Tina? Come on, man. Eat your food. <laughs> uh, yeah. Any ideas for my next TJ Steak, people? I'm going to try to do three or four this month. You know, I know it's only six. This is my first one this month. I'm going to try to do three or four this month, see how it goes. So give me some ideas. Yeah, I know, but do you know how to pronounce it, Amber? Just say yes or no. I mean, am I the only dick face that doesn't know how to pronounce it? I mean, she might not be able to pronounce my last name, but am I the only guy that can't pronounce her last name? Yeah. Eat your ham. No, Tina, eat your food. Eat your food, Tina. I got tater tots in my pocket. Yeah. No? Can you pronounce my last name, Amber? Do you feel like you might? Kyle, what up, buddy? Long time no see. Do you have an alcoholic like energy drink invented yet? Yeah, you know, there was one. You bring up a good point here. Rodebush. It's Rodebush. Like road. I thought it was Roud. Okay. I'm probably wrong. I Yeah, I know you can. I know you can. Uh, anyway, uh, I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, Brenda. Yeah, let's get back to that statement. Uh, you said... Do they have an alcoholic energy drink invented yet? Yes, it was called Sparks. Back in the day, I used to drink it. Ah, come on, Tina. Hey, we know we can mix Red Bull with, with anything. Bausch? Rout a Bausch? <laughs> Road a Bausch? <laughs> oh, she's going to see this and freaking want to Ric Flair chop me to the moon. But, uh, yeah, uh, Brenda, it was called Sparks. I used to drink it. Brian Elder used to drink it. Uh, they outlawed it because it was like mixing a downer with an upper. But yeah, it was called Sparks. And uh, it tastes like a sweet tart. No kid, Like you drink it and it tastes like a spike sweet tart. You're done with this. Okay, don't threaten me with a good time, Amber. Come on. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Sparks. I would drink it and then they made those four locos which taste like complete garbage. Need to bring it back if people are buying water to get drunk. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I, I'm not going to argue that fact at all. <laughs> I mean, uh, Sparks was good. It was like it's like you take them little Smarties and you chew them, 
But then imagine if they were spiked. That's what it tastes like. And it's like, yeah, you'd feel all energy, but you'd be hammered. And I mean, that's what it was. I mean, you saw, I used to buy them when I first moved here, and they'd make, they were like six point. And, they, and I'd buy like a six pack of them and be like, ooh, yeah, I'm feeling it, man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they don't make those anymore. They, I think they outlawed them. People were having like heart attacks and stuff. Lucky, uh, Luckily, I didn't have a heart attack. I just drink stuff like Bud Dry, and I think I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Dan, were you on here when Amber was on here? And we told the story about me going to Cedar Rapids and uh, drinking a drinking a like a 12-pack of Bud Dry. And I thought I was going to die on the floor because I had so bad heartburn. And uh, her boyfriend, which we won't mention any names, but you know who it is. He freaking bolted like I was having a heart attack on the floor. And he's like, I'm going to go party with my friends. And his girlfriend, Amber, stayed, stayed there and held me out. Freaking. So you are like, I want to pass out, but I can't. Yeah, that's very true. Very true. Yeah, but Dan, I said that story earlier because Amber was on here. And yeah, I, I've never felt such a bad pain in my chest. Ever. Ever. I mean, well, maybe besides when I ate that hot chocolate thing here for TJ's take. <laughs> I mean, that was pretty, pretty intense. I really thought I was probably going to die. So, yeah. But, yeah, Brenda, you're right on point with that. You, you, you're you like, I want to pass out, but I'm ready to go. So... Yeah, so have you guys been good? You and Dan, Brenda, you and Dan been well, been real and good. Yeah, I hope so. I hope everything in your life is fabulous. If you guys want your vows renewed next summer when I'm there, I'm ordained. I will do it for you for free. For free. You will have the, the coolest minister of all time. Me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Working too much. Yeah? Well, you're making that money, right? Right? Uh... Well, people, I think I'm going to bolt. But it's been real and it's been fun. Thank you for watching TJ's Take. I love all you. Dan, I love you. Here, let me see who's all on here. Dan and Brenda, I love you. Adam, if you're still on here, I love you. Amber, I love you. This has been TJ's Take. Tina, I love you. This has been TJ's Take. Christopher Lee Hendricks, buddy. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed your class. Yeah. Later, bud. Love you too, buddy. I love all you guys. And, uh... This has been TJ Steak, episode 42. It, don't mess with the White Claw, people. White Claw and what it's about. There's no laws with White Claw. Peace out, people. Have a good weekend. I might do a TJ Steak on Sunday. I don't know yet. So shoot me some ideas on Facebook. No laws with the claws, baby. Love ya. See ya.